Hello, and in today's video we're going to do something completely different. Um, there's a film coming out by A24 called Gawain and the Green Knight, or possibly just The Green Knight. And yes, it's the classic Arthurian medieval morality story as a film, and also now as a role-playing game. I believe this was announced several months ago, but I only just recently came across it myself. And I ordered it, and within 20 days, uh, as you can see, it's arrived. And it's a Quest for Honor starter set. Now, I don't really know too much about this game, uh, beyond the fact that it's a promotional box set, limited edition, I guess, of sorts, uh, to go with the film. And it's effectively a one-shot adventure where by you, you know, effectively recreate the sequences from the film of travelling to the castle to confront the Green Knight, having uh, dealt with them right at the beginning. But I believe these bonus quests it mentions here on the back of the box set are for you to actually use this as a role-playing system above and beyond that sort of one set adventure. Now they're saying it's for three to six players. Um, I've got a feeling it's probably going to be better with less players than that because after all, you know, Gawain goes off to confront the Green Knight as a solo adventure. And I also believe it's uh, a 20 sided dice game, but it's not uh, 2d20 or D&D 5th edition, it's its own rule set. And um, yeah, it's an interesting game. So let's get the box open and see what's inside. Now having stripped off the shrink wrap, you'll notice it's got this distressed look. Um, it's sort of a deliberate design choice to, I guess, make it look like it's an old game that you can get hold of. Uh, as you can see, the cover illustration is pretty nice. You've got Gawain, uh, the sort of talking fox from the trailer, um, the Green Knight, and then possibly the Sorceress off on the side here. And the box seems to be pretty good quality. It does remind me a little bit of the basic and advanced set. And, oh, look at that. That's lovely. A little insert with a cutout. And that just lifts out. And, oh, yeah, I like that. Ah, beautiful green dice. Nine... 13, 17, 13, 11. Okay, seems fairly random. That's pretty good. We've got Game Master's Guide. Let's take everything out here. Then some character sheets. Okay, so no player's handbook. So we've got the Hunter, the Knight, the Sorcerer, the Bard, and the Noble. Now what's rather annoying is um, they don't seem to have released these as a PDF just yet. Um, there are ways of getting hold of PDFs of it, I believe, which are probably uh, nefarious uh, copies. We've also got a nice little map um, to explore as well. And as you can see with the Hunter, for example, you've got a starting dishonor of 10 and you can go to more dishonor or less dishonor. You've then got your abilities of courage, might, intellect, cunning, charm, with some sub skills some background questions, some virtues and vices, you've got to pick one of each, and then some special moves, and you get to choose one, so Stealthy Strike, Predator, Eagle Eye, Grim Dedication, and then a little space for inventory, nothing on the back. So Hunter in green there, the Knight in blue, um, obviously slightly different special moves, but everything else seems pretty much the same, including the virtue and the vices. Then, oh, I see here. So choose two abilities. These abilities represent your core strengths. And then choose four skills. So you could have courage at plus two, might at plus two, for example. So that's the sorcerer. And then we have the bard. So sorcerer in purple, bard in this sort of orangey color. And then finally the greeny sort of teal noble. Now the Game Master's Guide. It's got a nice big logo for A24 chuck my little free postcardy thing in there with the uh, actor there so game master's guide those of boldest blood and wildest of heart set forth take up arms and try with honor to land a blow against me whomsoever nicks me shall lay claim to this my arm its glory and riches shall be thine should you land a blow you must seek me out yonder one year hence to the green chapel and let me strike you in return who is willing to indulge me in this game so yeah, nice quote there from the Green Knight. Now I read the Green Knight ages ago. I think I had the Tolkien translation. Um, I might even have his Beowulf translation kicking around somewhere. But there are several versions of Gawain and the Green Knight. And um, 
yeah they, they all interpret it slightly differently and there's lots of really cool videos on youtube talking about the myth and the morality tale behind the original story but um, in this game obviously we're gonna have something slightly different so before we begin introduction core rules your abilities virtues and vices then the adventure which is from page 10 to i guess page 29 and then some extra little challenges beyond that now the before we begin uh, bit seems to be a sort of intro to role playing so we're going to go on a quest um, depending on which characters you pick um, will depend on how the story plays out what is an rpg what is the green knight how do i play what's the tone of the game a little bit to put your notes on and there's all sorts of nice little illustrations so this is the green knight from uh, the film version, which um, I'll try and remember to put the link to the trailers uh, in. Then we get to the core rules. So page six, we've got skill checks, dishonor, dishonorable actions, encounters, initiative, atonement, the five roles, uh, abilities, virtues and vices, and then the adventure begins. So that finishes on page nine. So yeah, um, Page six, seven, eight, and nine seem to be the core rules. And um, whenever your character tries to accomplish an action or your something on your turn, you you might need to do a skill check. So describe your action, make it vivid, make a skill check, roll the twenty-sided dice. If you roll equal to or higher than your current dishonor, you succeed. Um, and if you don't, then you fail due to ineptitude, cowardice, or bad luck, and you get a plus two bonus if you've marked training in a skill. And you can also add two if you've marked training in the ability. So yeah, if you take, uh, let's say, might and melee combat, that's plus four. If you take might, but let's say folklore, where well, you get plus two from the might, but the folklore is only gonna help you on intellect challenges, for example. Uh, dishonorable action. If you deem are deemed to do a dishonorable action, you must roll a d20 and try and get equal to or less than your current dishonor. So your dishonor is basically something that goes up and down and sets uh, your skill challenge target number. So in the Green Knight, so if you attempt an honorable action and fail, you can suffer a point of dishonor. If you attempt an honorable action and succeed, you can remove a point of dishonor. And if you attempt a dishonorable action and you know you get uh, a dishonor point, regardless of whether you succeed or fail. Um, so at the start of each initiative, um, so you've got delays encounter with a judgment phase so you could get additional dishonor and honor carefully monitor uh, as a general rule most sections should be honorable but uh, maybe not every character starts the game at 10 dishonor uh, if you reach 20 you are removed from the game because you fall in the so dishonorable action striking or harming an innocent striking or harming an unarmed foe running away from battle use of a trap trickery or deceit needless destruction or death using poison of any kind for any purpose so encounters uh, you roll for initiative atonement so between encounters you can spend honor to elevate the esteem of their fellows so you take three dishonor points to remove one from another character mm, okay that could be pretty nasty so the five roles a knight master of military might noble a duke somewhere between a common and a king back into the feudal system do not abuse your power hunter an expert on life in the wild sorcerer a magician or somebody who commands forces beyond the understanding of those around them avoid those who would brand them as a heretic and the bard a performer sort of traveling artist and supports those around them so your ability so courage sense of presence might strength speed and combat proficiency intellect logic and reasoning cunning common sense charm social prowess so you get your four skills it talks about various skills do so for example uh, folklore this skill is used to recall information that is contained in old world tales and fables this information is usually vague but more broad reaching than mystical knowledge know the law weakness of magical creatures recall the name of or a, a story about an individual remember a curious tale about a particular location whereas mysticism used to recall magical information so know the identity of a magical creature identify a magical item, recognize particular spells and how to deal with them. Then you've got your virtues and vices. So you can have pick some and uh, you can call upon your virtue to re-roll a d20. Um, and you can call on a vice to do the same for honor and dishonor. Although if you use it 
changes that action to a dishonorable action. So you can choose to be lazy, to re-roll a test, but because you've been lazy, you, you get dishonored. So it's definitely sort of, I guess, a bit of a push shut up. So as the GM, let your players introduce themselves and then we go through the adventure. Well, because that's the main bit of the book, I'm going to skip past that. So we get to the conclusion where we have the confrontation with the Green Knight, and then we've got the A24 challenges. So we've got the Black Opal, the Winter Festival, and the Drunken Keepers. And these are basically just like story seed ideas. So it's a pretty basic game and potentially fairly limited in scope. But um, yeah, I, I think as a box set to tie into the film, um, that's pretty nice. And I'm going to have to go off and have a read of this. And I'm looking forward to playing through the one shot. And as you can see, we've got some nice footage from uh, the film captured here. Yeah, nice basic uh, game, but I think they do need to release the um, adventure character sheets as PDFs so you can run multiple people through this box because obviously where this game's really going to do well is running multiple parties through it because obviously each time you run it, it means your, your kind of fun per buck uh, is going up because um, obviously if you run just three players through this of, let's say, 12 hours well that's less value than running nine people through this for uh, 36 hours anyway i hope you've enjoyed that quick look at the game system uh, i might return to this once i've had a read and possibly even a run through and i love the fact that you know this game exists and i hope they do a bit more with it actually because it is an intriguing system um that honor versus dishonor thing um, I could see you could convert that to a magical game system where instead of honour it's like corruption and use a sort of symbarum casting magic gives you corruption and doing good deeds gets rid of corruption so yeah um, it's definitely a quest for honour starter set that's for sure and um, yeah I guess that's it so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video see you in the next one and until then happy gaming